I'm having to play the beats through the Akai 6000 because I haven't got the 3000 set up. I can't be bothered. I've been spending a lot of time preparing Bang, and well, not Ripper yet, preparing Bang ready for all the video work I'm doing in the background. Um, so today is the first time ever um, in 15 years that I've put one of my songs back into the MIDI studio. The keyboard was playing up, the computer was playing up, and it turned out in both accounts I had to change the little battery, the memory battery. The minute I did that, everything was working fine. So to this day, um, everything's working. It, it seems like everything's working. So God bless, God bless, God bless. Slowly but surely, one track at a time. I should have recorded sooner, but I've been building... I've been getting the equipment to talk to each other, so start with the basic percussion, finding that for bang. So that is... Um, uh, basic percussion, just something I'm chucking together. And then, like I say, the Akai 6 is playing some example beats for Bang, but the 3000 will be doing that. I just can't be arsed to wire it up yet. It's it, Sorry, I can't be arsed to load it up. Just something to keep it going for now. So far I've added the cut switch. Do you know, it's an old song, but I might be removing these little cuts. Oops. Don't think I'm going to be wanting I don't know. Never say never, eh? Just little stabs. Little stabs. Um, so I'm not sure, but um, got the basic guitar riff in for Bang, which I've absolutely loved that I sampled from the Corgo 1FW so long ago and I've loved it to this day. There's many variations. So if I just unmute that. I'm going to put a normal beat like this on bang. So that's going to be added on top of the uh, break beats coming from the 3000. I just haven't got there yet. And there'll be no clever recording on this. Now. I'm not recording the audio in the studio. It's just going to be on the tablet, I'm afraid. So, and then, oh, when I'm trying to do it for the camera and you press the wrong key and things go wrong, I just want to explode. But I must calm down, chill out, man, be at peace. So I've got the Moogs in. to the sound effects which I think is just a uh, SFX a what's SFX a uh, thumps bangs and explosions so let's have a listen to this this is going to be a bit of a racket this song is meant to be high octane explosive aggressive doesn't care whether you like it or not Ang angry egotistical that's what this song is. And I actually made Bang & Ripper in my early days on the clarinet internet connection playing Quake every Friday night. Four cans of Kestrel Super. Headphones play my own songs. And then for four or five hours Friday night I'd play a penny a minute on BT through clarinet Quake online with a ping of about a couple of hundred. And all you guys know what that is. There's no such thing as ping now, is it? It's all quick. So what's this one?
putting there as an example to hear it, and I quite like it. It's basically a mug stab, and then with a lot of reverb to give it a big to give it a big tail. Maybe that's why is nothing. Oh, it's just the bass. I think that's it. That is something I edited in Cool Edit Pro, so adding lots of explosion on top of bass. To be honest, it sounds brilliant downstairs, but it doesn't sound good up here, unlike the other one with the acidy bit. That sounds amazing. But that, I, I kind of thought that would anyway. This one is a bit of a letdown because it sounds brilliant on normal Sound Blaster speakers, but here it almost sounds phased. I don't quite... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that... No, it's good. Yeah, no, it, it's fine. It's still going through a stereo pair. So I don't quite know why that's doing that. Yeah, it's not sounding quite as right as it should. SFXB... Yeah, okay, there's only two SFX, right. 2B and 3B. <coughs> well, it's 2 and 3. Let's copy that one. So I'm, I'll worry about that later. It's not important right now. No. Three. Now why isn't that playing? Three, three. Yeah, why isn't that playing? Maybe it is, but there's no sound on it. Okay, something's wrong. So that one's okay. Channel 2, channel 3. Let me try channel 1. And if there's a... Unless there's no sounds loaded in the sampler. Let's do that. And this is what. Let's rename them. Uh, 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 SFX. Thump spine. SFX A. SFX A thumps, bangs, and explosions. SFX. Oh, there isn't a B. Okay, that's why. Right, it looks like I'm loading the wrong program files for SFXs. I need A, D, E, and F. Is that correct? I thought I'd renamed all this. Yeah. E, e, uh, yeah. Okay. They are correct. That makes sense. So if I find them, this effects. Details. 
copy. doing this I'll back up all the programs control all install control all Just busy putting the right program files into the Archive 6000 because for some reason I'd only uploaded sound effects A and sound effects B, but actually the samples have A, D, E, and F. So that will take about a minute. So I had to do a lot of jobs around the house. I had to get all the floorboards up in three bed, three rooms, up middle, upstairs hallway little one's bedroom and my bedroom to get the gas pipe uh, up up to 22 mil because the pressure at the boiler wasn't good enough so you try moving all your stuff around in the house when you've got to live eat sleep wash and then you've got to lift floorboards and floor tiles and what have you got that done in the end right let's have a look do we now have A. Let's have a look what I need. SFX A D E F. A. A D E F. Okay, so they're all in now. I think while I'm doing this, 11, 12, I'm going to save, because this is all new, and I've not done it for a long time, I'm backing up left, right and centre, to be honest with you, I'm just making sure. <coughs> okay, so SFXA, stumps, bangs and explosions, we've done that. Oh, there we go, right. So, SFX D is crash symbols. That'll have to be turned right down. Oh, fucking hell. Sorry for the language. Yep, turning the wrong one down. A. There we go. Just getting the basics of the levels close I'm not going to be too critical but luckily everything's running everything seems fine well I better name these uh, so that's SFX B crash symbols SFX B crash crash symbols 
To be honest, there's a couple in there I should have had a play. Let's have a quick look. What's in there? Let me just rename this other one first. This is SFX E. E is oohs and ahs. SFX SFX E Ooh. Ooh's and ahs. Okay. Let's have a quick listen to the crash symbol because there might be a couple of good ones in there. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I'm probably going to go for the basic one in here in this song if I use it. There's already a couple of things, like I said, the cuts, I just don't think they belong in there anymore. The police siren in the early song I took out, I should never have put that in, because it doesn't sit with the game Quake. It's got nothing to do with it, so the video for Quake is coming along amazingly. I've actually ripped, I've now just finished ripping 1920 by 1080 HDMI. Um, I presume that's what HDMI is, 1920 by 1080 and also 60 frames per second. But my the copy I'll be using will be the 30 frames per second because I don't think my studio PC will cope. Uh, the PC I use for video editing, online stuff, I don't think it's going to cope. We'll see. Don't know. But I've done both sets of videos, so they're there if I ever get to that stage. Right, so crash symbol is done. Let's mute that. Let's listen to what this one is. Oohs and ahs. There's only two in here. Only two samples, so I'll be adding some of my own oohs and ahs. <coughs> so there we go. That's going to be too loud as well, so. Drop it. <coughs> Eventually, I'll put an a ASDR on there. Attack, sustain, decay, release. At the moment, it's just playing it sharp. It's just triggering. <coughs> It'd be like what the Prodigy did. say there's only two in there there's going to be nothing exciting at the moment
save that. Uh, so that's the FX all done. So, oh, hang on, hang on. No, I've got the alarm clock to do. So that's SFX. SFXF. Basic names that I've come up with over the years, well, 15, 20 years ago. So SFX is just for general sound effects. And I have up to six different variations. So SFX, A, B, C, D, E, F. Same for beat, B, A, beat, B, beat, C, beat, D. I think I sometimes spend more time coming up with the ideas than actually making the music, honestly. I've always been like that, don't know why. Get just as much enjoyment out of the planning than the actual doing, to be honest. Uh, right, five. This is going to be the tick tock, tick tock, tick tock thing that you hear in the back of the bang song, if you've ever heard it. There is a video on YouTube. Um, if you, I think if you did the search JSM bang video, but it's old. It's really old, and it's I think it's 320 by 240 pixels. It's that old. But I did that on a Pentium 200 MMX 25 years ago, so. That's the ticker, that's the tick tock tick tock. Um. It's too loud, I know that much. Um. Okay, so that's the SFX, the sound effects all done. I think the last bit that's in the actual sampler is my vocals and those just little snippets so saying things like tick tock tick tock bang and then it's the bang watch out here I come I have decided I'll be redoing all the vocals but I'm going to put them in anyway that'll get the uh, programs and the keyboards and the, the tracks talking to each other correctly It'll be interesting. It's, like I say, 15 years, 20 years since I actually did any MIDI songs. Um, it's way longer than I did this song. So, well, I say way longer, 25 maybe. Don't know. 
56. I did it when I was about 25. Yeah. 25 years. A bit more than that, maybe. It's nice. It's nice to, to be able to pull that old crappy track out, which I've always loved, Bang and Ripper, especially because in those days I could imagine the video. I could see it all together. But I just didn't have the uh, a Pentium 200 MMX. And you need to edit videos and, and run the recordings to you. It wasn't going to happen. It's funny, it's taken all this time to do it. And the way John loves Quake now, and he will run round. Okay, he does the rocket jumps, but he also does the other moves like speed running and quaking off a wall, rocket gunning off walls. I can't do any of that shit. You can forget it. I ain't doing that. I, I do have something called a life which probably I spend too much time here. Um, but the amazing thing is, that Quake video that I did so long ago, that John has watched, he emulates it. So as he watches it, he runs around in DM2, Quake 1 DM2, and he'll emulate the moves. He'll plant the same rockets that I did 25 years ago. And I'm not that good. That video is just me against, what, four Reaper bots. So, it's, but I enjoyed it. It was a blast. I had some fun. And now my little boy is as well. Right, back to the vocals. That's going to be the last bit for today's work. And like I said, I'm absolutely amazed at how well the studio is running. I think it's probably running better now than it was 20 odd years ago. To be honest with you, it probably is. Okay, so... How many vocal tracks are there? Original takes, opera singer, and monster stew. So vocal A, vocal B, and vocal C. Let's have a look and see if these are already in here. They should be. Yeah, vocal A, vocal B, vocal C. I'm surprised I got the SFX ones wrong. Right, I'll just put the volumes at 66 them turned down a bit. I think I'm going to back that up again because it's all new. Save that. There we go. Okay. That's the, If you've got an Akai 6000, um, I use my Emma's, my partner Emma's old Dell Latitude 6110. I think I put Windows 7 on. No, that must be XP then. Uh, with XP, so a Dell Latitude 6110 XP, <coughs> Windows XP, uh, using a USB card in the back of the 6000. And except when I put the laptop in a stupid carrier bag that I found in a skip, um, like a backpack thing, I adapted it. it. The thing is, it looked nicer, but it, it was pressing against the USB wires and what have you. So when I put it back on the board, it's never played up. And that talks to the sampler every single time. And the best piece of advice I can give anyone out there to do with your archives, your three, I've got a 3,000 and a 6,000. If you want to talk to them properly and you don't want any problems, forget being clever. Forget Windows 732 bit and virtual this and virtual that. Forget it. Get some cheap, shitty laptops and dedicate each one to the job. So for the Akai 3000, I use a really old laptop. Um... It's got Windows 98 on, although I, I think I think I put Windows 98 second edition and then I'll... Okay, I've just got a thing flashing on the screen. Something about the space, it's getting full, so... 22, 3, 3, 4, 1, that seems alright. So... I use a Windows 98 laptop, talking to the 3000, and I use Archidisk. And I've set up my own little batch files that you don't actually do anything. You just... I Because I use very same names all the time, Beat A01, Beat B01, Beat B02. And because the Akai 3000 now is just for beats, it would be for other things if I wanted to do to them what I do to the beats. But that's... That's not likely. It might be happening in this song, actually. I might be taking some of the acid and playing around with it in the 3000, but it is a lot of work to do that. So just stick to laptops, talking to your, your samplers, your old ones. 
there is another way actually but and I bought this stuff but I upset a few people so I haven't gone down that road now um, it involves a pie scuzzy and I've got the stuff I just haven't bothered doing it but to be honest at the moment I'd rather be in the studio because that's a whole new learning curve but then if I don't use the spot pie because but if I do not use the pie scuzzy for that I hear you can actually play quake on the pie scuzzy now and doom and what have you so and you see that everything's worth something when you can play quake on it right where are we time for the vocals um. So this is seven, track seven. Actually, I might as well do all three of the tracks. Seven, eight, nine. So I just copy an old track, change the MIDI track number, and then let's see what it plays. Bang! Hey! Bang! So I've never heard that play for the past probably 15 years easy easy from my digital midi recording studio bang and so that's me saying bang all that time ago eh when i bought myself a philips cd recorder cost 500 pound to 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 record to cd so that's how i used to capture my stuff stick the disc in the pc uh, rip it into have and then I could scrub the disc because it was the Philips re-recordables. Fifteen pound a disc they cost, and I bought five. I spent seventy pound just on CDRs in those days. Wow, the thing, the things you do for the love of, eh? The things you do for the love of. So that's me, twenty-five years ago, and um, but they will be revamped because I know I'll be able to do a better job now. Bang. find here I come bang 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 Ooh. here I come there we go bang here I come bang I'm going to try and get the timing a bit right bang 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 here I come. Bang. 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 Watch out. To be honest, I won't get the timing right because I never had a percussion kit in the song. So I'll, when I eventually get the 3000 up and running and get the, the, the beats playing in that, that will help. Bang! The gap at the beginning is too big. Bang! Bang! Watch out! Okay. Here I come! That'll do, sort of. I just want to hear the bass. Bang! Watch out! Here I come! Watch out! Here I come! Watch out, here I 
I was a bit younger when I did that. I'm a bit older now. A bit wiser, but a bit fatter too. Very happy. Okay, so that one is Local A, and what's it called? Original Takes. Okay, Local A, V O C L space A space dash space. Lower caps, original takes. And the names are put in Cakewalk Pro Audio 8. Don't forget I'm on Windows 98. None of this modern shit, guys. Windows 98 and Cakewalk Pro Audio 8. And not, the only reason for that is because I love my Winman MIDI Man 4x4 MIDI card. So I will fight tooth and nail to keep that baby running. I'm an idiot, but that's that's what I am. Um, so vocal A, original takes, use the same names. So even the folders are named. So vocal A is my bang, watch out, here I come. Vocal B is an opera singer, because I was after that, ooh, ah, the fade in effect, which to be honest, it's not that good. I can replace them with my own voice now and do a way better job, but I was learning in those days. And then vocal C is monster stew. So that's me in the background going, trying to get that dark, sinister, gothic feel. And I've got some additional bits of the video that you wouldn't necessarily put in the song. And when I make the montages of different I, I, soundscapes, visualscapes, I don't know what to tell you about it. I don't know what to call it. But you'll see why. I'm capturing all these ideas because even with the right video and the right audio, you can create an emotional, an emotional moment. As you know, I mean, that's what movies do. That's what pop songs do and videos and what have you. So, and I keep them all in different folders. So Vocal A original takes. Vocal B. Opera singer. Vocal C, Monster Stew. Monster Stew. Okay, so we now know Bang, watch out, here I come, with, okay? Bang! Watch out! Here I come! Bang! Watch out! Right, let's check. The next track which is opera singer it does actually do the, it does the effect that i was after yeah i'm being overcritical. it's actually it actually does do what i want and then you'd cut it off so and then you'd repeat it so exact same place. That's the kind of fool I'm... Where do I want it? Maybe on two. Not on what? That's good. Yeah, I like that. Must 
admit I prefer the this sound at the beginning the crash symbol isn't doing it for me it's funny the ideas you get in your head and then when you hear them you go oh um, not sure about the crash symbol but I won't make decisions like that till much later watch out here I come watch out here I come Bang. Watch out! I wonder what else is in that instead of the acid stuff. Instead of that. Bang. Watch out! Bang. Watch out! Here I come. That is such a big sound. That's the one I mentioned earlier, but it. It doesn't quite sound right anymore. I don't. Watch out! Bang! Watch out! Actually, it probably is okay. It's just it's that bigger sound. It, it it drowns everything else out. Bang! Watch out! Here I come! Bang! You see what I mean? You'd be listening to an explosion all day. But it may not belong in the song, but it will belong in the multimedia, in the audiovisual content, just maybe not necessarily in this exact song. Um, I better take that off because it's just so overpowering. Bang! Watch out! I'm going to shorten that. I've made the tails huge. Watch out, here I come, bang, what? It's funny because all the ones I like downstairs, I'm not so keen in, on in here, but this acid stab that I wasn't sure about downstairs, but I thought I'd try it anyway, I do like. The only thing I don't like about the acid stab is I've got a ton of moog in here already because it's my favourite. Bang! Watch out! Here I come! Bang! Okay, let's mute me. Mute the thumb. So next one is Monster Stew. So this is just me growling and then slowing it down. Fill, it's padding. It fills up the background with eerie, sinister sounds. Oh, wrong one. I've moved. Oh, it's not the wrong one. I didn't change the MIDI out the channel. Channel 9. It looks like there's nothing on there. Unless those samples are not in the machine, but I'll bet they are. So I'm probably on a dead track. No, something is wrong. Okay. It's track nine. Yeah, I was too low in octave. I was off the edge of the octaves. So it's some, something else I did a lot of, because obviously the 6,000 has got more storage and I think when I made this song I only had the 3000, never had the 6 then. So something else I've done a lot of is I've turned most of the samples from mono to stereo. Get the most out of it that you can in stereo um, with effects and in, all in Cool Edit Pro and then um, load them up into the sampler. So it, it, everything's been given a wider feel now. And 
to be honest, you only need a couple of these. There's probably three or four I could take out. That's again for a later day. I've still got half the sampler's memory left, so it's going to be a long time before it gets too full, but it will get too full. I would love to get Ripper and Bang in the sampler at the same time for an idea I've got in my head, but that might be pushing it. I might need another 6,000 for that, to be honest. So the monsters are there. Um, it's all done. Bang! So everything I wanted to achieve today, that's it. I've achieved it. So for the first time in 15 years, that's the first one of one of my songs that I put into the uh, MIDI recording studio. Now the blessing is as well with the keyboard. A long time ago, I stripped it to put in another backlight. And to be honest, that doesn't work anymore. And I think it's because I put the two lights in parallel and maybe overloaded the supply to it. Don't know. Don't really care. But the sounds all work perfectly now ever since I changed the little battery. And ever since I went in it the first time, sometimes when you powered up, if you changed from program to combi, the sound would stop working unless you powered down and back up. But that seems to have rectified itself now, so... I was doubly careful when I put everything back together this time and spent more time making sure the leads were correct and the PCBs were not pushed in. I was a bit heavy handed the first time I think and now it's fine, it's back to normal. Um, so I've got done what I wanted to do. A basic beat is in there, it's basically the original beat filtered but I really want all the beats to come from the 3000 which they're already in there and to be honest I've done all my fancy work to them, but because the percussion loop in this song is quite a basic one, I think I've overkilled. In other words, the clever stuff I can do to percussion doesn't really complement this song because it 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 doesn't thrive off that. Whereas the I've got a funny feeling Ripper will, because the percussion in that is the trick that I do with drum loops, just in the three thousand really, using the loops. So, um, got the beats in, got the cheesy stabs. I think I might pull them. Honestly, the cheesy stabs, not, not impressed. Uh, the guitars I love, but there's three different channels of this guitar, just that plucking. Let me play it. So, guitar A. This is how mad I am. So, guitar A. I know already he's got 32 different loops in. Variations of the same idea, whether it's a different sample off the core keyboard, whether I filtered it, EQ'd it, reverb, played with it, whatever. And I've got three different ones. So I've got guitar A, guitar B, guitar C. Guitar C is filtered and I've played around with the best of what was in the, the first two ones. But the first two ones I want to crush down to one. Because at the moment I have 96 variations of and I don't need 96 64 definitely so that's a job I want to do there but that I love that when I use that in the back of that song it carries it it never lets the song drop it never lets you relax 
no matter where you put it. It's, it's, it's a brilliant driving force behind the song. Um, and then as an example, one of the ones that's been played with. You're not going to hear it brilliantly because you're only getting recording through the tablet, I'm afraid. How are we doing? Yeah, it looks like there's still a lot of space, I think. So guitars are done and they're not real guitars. It's just sampled off the, the Korg. Might try and put real guitars in, but not for this. That's for Ripper. I've got a few ideas for Ripper. Ripper would love that. This, yeah, whatever. It doesn't need it. This is more Moog driven. Done all the Moogs. I like the sound of the Moogs. It's always the same samples I use. I've used them forever. All homemade. Um, they're cutting through nicely. They're actually cutting through a bit too nice. I've got to be honest. Uh, the, the two, they're very in your face. The Moog is, always has been. Um... The thumps and the bangs, nah. I like, I like getting as much out of the dynamic. I like getting the most dynamics from a sound possible, but the, I, I have overdone it. And to be honest, they haven't worked in this song. They work brilliantly in the videos I chucked together with the Quake, uh, with um, Quake One video. Not sure about the song. They're too powerful, <clears throat> and the sound effects are all done. Thumps and bumps, crash cymbals, ooze ahs, the alarm clock. And then the vocals are all done. So it's, it's been good. But the, the, the thing I took for granted and forgot is because I changed the batteries, the PC had f basically forgotten I had a MIDI card in so it wouldn't see it. And um, the thing I forgot to take into account was everything worked first time. And it's, it's, it's nice that. I've, I've spent a long time looking after this kit, I really have. I keep saying to Emma and John, yeah, I've got to go upstairs and look after my babies and you should see the dirty looks I get. <laughs> oh, but I love them, I love them, I love them. That's it. Um, I've had enough playing around. I don't really need to play around anymore. The PC downstairs is busy at the moment making more Quake video. I've been doing that for about three months, would you believe? On and off every night. That's how long it's taking to produce the video and um, the 60 frames per second takes up half a terabyte it's it's got a hard drive dedicated to it um, the 30 frames a second probably half that 250 gigabytes 250 gig and then uh, DaVinci Resolve has already got the initial video in of 1920 by 1080 but it wasn't as good a quality as I could achieve at 30 frames a second, basically using the uh, DivX um, encoder. So I've redone the video because I don't ever want to do this again. I want to do this once, get it right, and then it's finished. So it, it's been busy for about, I'd say, a couple of months, that computer. Not every night, but nearly every night. I'd, I'll get it to compile some video, come down, stop it, and... Um, it becomes a home computer then till the next night. And that's it. It's funny, you know, all the time I never expect to talk to you guys in, in, in the tablet. I end up talking. I end up switching on and I'm just yapping for a while. I think what I'll do, I'll switch the song off, go make a cup of tea. I'm going to stop the recording. I always look at me in the film. I, sh I should look at you up there, the camera. That bit there. Yeah. yeah, I see if I put my face too close, it all goes dark. But doesn't it look nice just like that, eh? On the tablet. Wow, home sweet home. Home is where the heart is. My heart is here. It really is. And with Emma and John, of course. But um, my heart is most definitely here. Okay. People, I wish you well. Peace and blessings. Look after yourself. Love one another. Be safe. Be well. Be happy. Peace out. Ooh, ooh. Oh.
Oh, hey, hey, didn't you know that I would, I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, 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 oh, oh. hey, 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 oh. No, 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 I do. Shine a light just for you. I do. Shine a little light just for you. I do. Keep it nice and bright for you. I do. Every little day and night. I do shine a little light just for you. Hey, I didn't know I would want to shine a light just for you. Yeah, for you. Yeah, shine a little light for you. Hey. Sing a little song for you, hey, yeah. Shine a little light now, just for you, yeah, I do. <sighs> oh, 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 oh. No more, no more sadness inside, no, 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 no more bitterness and tears inside you, no, no, oh, no. Don't cry You got nothing left to fear You're gonna be just fine now, now, now I say Don't cry There's nothing left to be scared of No, no, no Oh, no You know that I care for you, I do We both know that You got time to believe in you Mercy, a lot of grace. Shine your light and show me the way, Lord. Hey, a lot of mercy, a lot of grace. Shine your light and show me the way, please, yeah. Cause I got love, Lord. And I got light, Lord. And I got lots to share, yeah, 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 yeah. And I got love, yeah, to spread around, Lord. 
All over this beautiful earth I do Thank you, Lord Boing, boing It's a bigger boing, boing You take it, you shake it, you make it with a boing, boing You wanna play with my boing, boing? Come take my boing, boing It's a big one Ha 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 Oh 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 Hey You know that Oh ha 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 Oh ha 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 you take your time You tell me yes You tell me no You say I go You take it Oh Baby, baby Don't you know that I like it I take it time 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 oh, oh, oh. one 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 your rhythm sounds nice and clear maybe I should have been recording this in the tablet but I'm not really bothered actually Baby, you are my lady. I know I love you, girl. Baby, baby, you drive me crazy. It's really uh, okay. I'm over the top. It's a clipping, man. He's a clipping. Hi, this is a JSM. You can sing a song. You think you can sing? You don't care. You can sing. You like me sing? Me sing songs. I'm really surprised at the quality. Uh, something's telling me the quality is better than usual. Don't know if I'm imagining that. We'll find out downstairs. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord, I know. Oh, yeah. I'm going to sing a song nice and slow. A lot of life inside of us, yeah. Oh, Lord, I know that you're with me when I sing this song. Let's share it together, hey. Oh, Lord, of mercy. Lot of grace and whatever. Oh, they'll be home soon. I 
think I got about ten minutes to jam And then I gotta go downstairs and see the people I love, yeah They've been out for the day So I made the best and came up here to play That's why you can see me now Do you like the same four chords I play over and over and over and over and over again, hey over again, hey Over again now, hey, yeah, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh. Time goes by Just be the speakers, you know. Oh, la, la, la. I think I can start turning things off now. Oh, la. I think if I turn the keyboard off, let's pack up. Well, it's been a good day. It's been a long time since I've been up here. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So, for the first time in a long time, I've loaded a song in. Ah, uh, 12 Ace. 12 Ace is XP. And 15 is Windows 98. So I'm going to run XP, so I've got USB support. I don't mess around with the Windows 98 on this machine at all. I keep it very plain and clean. It's only for recording. And for some reason today's recording sounded really clear. Maybe too clear because you can tell it's digital. Uh, I'd have to admit to that. It's just that too clean. Thing. It is what it is. Right, I'm going to turn the phantom off. Um, that's it. I'm gonna stop. Cut. Gee, I've not, not finished my tea. What's this new folder? All right, that's the old stuff. going to stop the recording now look that's my little boy my John Samuel Morris he's going to be seven in October right they grow up so quick and we get old so quick to so make the best of it everybody god bless you all speak to you soon mm -hmm.